everyone, welcome back. And this vlog might be a massive surprise to you, but today we are leaving Forest Oaks. Today we will be moving all three of the ponies to their new home. I can't wait for the ponies, a brand new start because there is so much hacking there. They've got fields and fields and fields. So here there's actually not that much hacking um, unless you go out into the forest, but you've got to either hack, which takes 20 minutes, or horse box out. Um, and we don't really like going on the road because there's some people that just go way too fast and then they, some people just don't know how to drive near horses. So we don't really hack on the roads that much, which is quite sad we don't get to do much of it here because this is like the perfect yard. It's got an indoor arena, which I'm, which I'm so lucky for. Um, and I know a lot of people don't have that, so I'm really privileged to have that. But I feel like if we don't hack the ponies that much, we try, we try to hack them at least once or twice a month, but it's just so hard, especially in the winter, because we've got three of them now, we can't hack all of them. So this has been the main decision for the ponies move is that we need, to uh, we need more than an indoor arena mainly. And the yard we're moving to does have two arenas. Um, it's, they're just both outside, which doesn't really matter. But yeah, hopefully it just, I think it's just gonna be so much more enjoyable, enjoyable for the ponies because Popcorn absolutely loves his hacking. Like, don't get me wrong, the indoor arena is absolutely brilliant when it's like raining and pouring it down. But I've got my good old aqua dry that'll keep me warm and dry. And Popcorn will have his um, exercise sheet on. So we'll stay pretty dry. And if it's too bad weather, we can just ride tomorrow, but we'll ride the next day. But it's just sad here that there's not much hacking. and. Yeah, you can cant around the big field, but it's just so more, much more enjoyable when they get to go out, see something different every day. And yeah, we're just hoping to get them out a bit more now. And we've just got a jam-packed year this year for all three of the ponies, and we need them to be in the fittest shape possible. And we just can't really do this here. So basically, we just want to be giving them the best chance they can have this year. And it's a lot more to riding than just working them same rain each day around the arena. And yeah, you can do jumping to, mi to mix it up. They need to be doing hill work and lots of fitness work because Cloudy, as you know, he does racing and we're hoping to do the racing this year as well. And there's a nice long hill that we can full on gallop up during the summer which is so nice and for all of the ponies it's just so nice for them to do a bit of hill work as well because there's no hills here it's quite a flat piece of land it's also so important for the horse's mental health that they're going out all the time so the best thing about the move is we're moving to our friend's farm and they have 2,000 acres which is so much hacking and I just can't wait to get to do all of the fun adventures. We're so lucky, it's not a livery yard or anything, but I'm just so excited for the move. I've absolutely loved our time here at Forest Oaks. Um, it's such a beautiful place, but I'm so excited for the move, and I think the ponies are just gonna absolutely love it. So let's go get popcorn in. I don't bring wellies. I'm wearing cream trainers. Ooh. We've got a lot to do today. Um, we've been doing, we're pa we've been packing all this morning. It's about half 12 now. Yeah, I'm just so pr super excited. And we've only got two partitions in our horse box, which is a bit difficult because we've got three ponies. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna travel the two bigger boys first. So Popcorn and Rolo, and then we're gonna take Cloudy by himself. So we might have to come and get Cloudy tomorrow if it's too late tonight. I mean, it looks a lot darker than it is. It's just cause there's like a massive thunderstorm of clouds above us right now. But yeah, I can't actually see Popcorn, can I? So we've actually moved a lot of our stuff last week whilst I was at school. My mum and granddad were super busy moving um, everything and we've actually got our own tag room now, which I'm super excited about, which means that we can decorate it just how we want it, 
hang all the saddle pads up, live mine and my mum's uh, tack room dream. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like, but the, the reveal is not yet because it's not 100% done, but hopefully in one of the next vlogs, you'll be able to see. And I think we're going to be a little bit surprised, not going to lie. Um, but yeah, where, where's, where's Clouds? Oh, Clouds? He's over there. He's over there. Pokemon's over there. I think the brothers had to have a bit of a fallout because they're on opposite ends of the field. I think one of them has bit each other's bum. So the plan is Popcorn and Cloudy are going to be sharing a field at their new yard because they're just so desensitised, what I want to say now, to each other. But yeah, so hopefully Popcorn comes trotting over. This is actually bringing back moments of when Popcorn didn't want to leave the field at his old yard. Like on the moving day, he was non-stop galloping around. I think this is going to be quite difficult catching popcorn. <laughs> popcorn! <laughs> popcorn, lucky he's not a dog! <laughs> popcorn, come here! Hey, come here! Popcorn! Be nice! Oi! Popcorn, come here! Popcorn! Popcorn, get here! Popcorn! Popcorn! gallop before we go to the new yard oh. come here come here come here <laughs> this is not ending well popcorn come here come here come here the opposite direction! Popcorn doing you turn! Popcorn! Popcorn! <sighs> nothing's ha what nothing's happening. He's just standing there staring at me like, oh lum yummy! Ooh, I'm in the fields! Giving out free treats! Fuck on! Nothing? No? Oh no. Fuck on's like, oh no. Oh, look at Cloud. Oh my gosh. Guys! I'm in. Pokemon has made me no choice. We get baby boy. What? Guys, it feels like it's an end of an era. You just don't quite have treats now, don't you? We we arrived here with one pony, our darling popcorn, and we're leaving with three. Two extras. Yeah. What a journey it has been. I'm so excited for our new adventures together and I think the next chapter is going to be an amazing one. So to avoid popcorn from getting ulcers when we move, he's been on a syringe for a couple of days now and he's going to be on it for a couple of weeks after the move just so he doesn't get too stressed um, because he is prone to ulcers. So yes, we can try to keep them away. 
So he's just gonna have his syringe now. He has half a syringe a day. Oh, he's good, isn't he? He's a good boy. He's a nice taste funny mummy. So I'm gonna take his rug off and then I'm gonna get him ready in his travel rug. He wears this hood to keep him a bit cleaner in the winter and it also must keep his ears and his whole face a bit warmer as well. Because you look like a little Batman. Batman pony. Bat pony. And he's a little angel to have this taken off. Yay! You're going to love the hacking popcorn. You're going to be able to do so many zoomies. Are you going to smile? Good boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> popcorn, you're normally really good to have this on. There's his ears. Do you love Zoomies popcorn? So we've just got these bits left. I say these bits, there's a whole shelf, shelves left. So we're gonna try and, we've just got these two, we've downsized. So we need to just pack all of these away. I'm gonna get my wheelbarrow. So it's a bit easier for us to carry it to the horse box. So I'm gonna go get that. I've also got four saddles and lots of bridles in here. So I've got two bridles in there, two saddles, two bridles in there and two saddles. So, oh yeah, also look at the little horseshoes. Look at them, they're so cute and small. That is my hand compared to a horseshoe. We're not actually sure if these are Rolos or Cloudies, but I think these are Rolos. These are definitely Rolos because Rolo has some sort of aluminium. So they're a lot lighter and they look shiny as well. so attached to popcorn she's she's been here since the start basically and she's just she's gotten so attached to popcorn and she loves him so much so we're going to leave her one of popcorn's horseshoes we're going to leave it as a little surprise i think she's going to love it but yeah i'm just getting it a bit cleaned up a bit because it's a bit dirty and muddy so this is kira's locker and i'm just going to put it where should i put it But just gonna check that we haven't left anything. It's all out. Yep, it's all done. Now we just need to go and get Rolo. He knows something's up. He's like, why did you just carry like 20 handfuls of my accessories to the horse box. He just had his last little photo shoot in his stable. I took some nice pictures. Um, but now we're gonna go get Rolo. We can't actually get this stable toy off. So, <laughs> I mean, we could cut it. Right, let's go get Rose. Let's go get Roller Pops. We've been calling Rolo Rose lately, haven't we? He's, we've just been like, oh, can you go tack up Rose? 
like, oh, go check, go check that Rose has enough hay. Or sometimes we call him Ro-Ro. Yeah, Ro-Ro. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel good. Nee, 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 nee. Now I see where Rolo's been getting his crazy ideas from. <laughs> his, his crazy neighbour. The good thing about moving to the new yard is that Rolo is going to have a bigger field because he can actually go um, in a bigger field because he's got to have individual turnout because he can't get any scars or nips for the showing. So Rolo, you're going to have to come to me because you've made a good little uh, mud pie in here. Come on. Come on, turn around. Hold on, I need to get your other ear through. I'm so excited for him that he's going to have a really nice big field. He's fresh. Oh my god, really? Really? Really, he's going to have, be having a really nice time in his new big field, so I'm going to be super happy for him. So that was, was because that was basically like the only individual turn up pen he could have so he could have gone out with popcorn or something but we didn't know because he might have gotten kicked and you know how popcorn is in the little bum biter i'm gonna go pop a little travel rug on him and then we're gonna get going i've also just spotted a little present outside of my stable so we're gonna no don't don't eat my phone keychain over there, over there. Um, so we're going to open it up with Rolo. So we've got a little beanie. Do you like it? Oh, don't eat it, don't eat it. And then we've got some stud muffins. <laughs> we've got some lovely, delicious stud muffins for the ponies. And we've also got a little Lickit treat bar that Rolo is very keen on. Um, I think they're going to enjoy this so much. We've also got... This is so generous. We've got a, a little licket that Rolo is also very keen on. Um, <laughs> Does he have a little lick? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, bite the, don't bite the jar. Oh, don't bite it. No, you're supposed to lick it. Oh. What's he trying to do? He's like biting the jar. This pony is absolutely hilarious. You've got some moving treats, Rolo. You've got to share them with popcorn as well. Right, before your tongue turns brown, we're going to put this away. No. 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 <laughs> no, don't, don't get my jumper to... <gasps> What's he done? Um, and then we've got some <laughs> lovely, he's still here. <laughs> we've also got some lovely chocolates for humans. <laughs> he's licking with the dust off the bars. Oh, Rolo, right. Um, There's a little card in there. I don't even know who this is from, guys. Oh, look at the card. That's adorable. Popcorn and family, wishing you the best of luck in all of your future adventures. Lots of love, Rachel. We will miss the boys, Miss Jeff, and you, of course. Love, Claire. Can't believe you guys are going. Popcorn is one of the OGs. All the best. Love, Kira. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. We're going to miss everyone here and thank you so much for making our time so amazing here. Sorry, everyone's just staring at me. Um, do you want to sniff the teddy? What do you think? Oh, popcorn! Oh, he's just like... <laughs> right guys i think that's it let's get these boys to their new home yeah yes 
Let's get you all loaded in. Right, that's all good. I'll put this over there. Let's go get Brolo. He's coming. Oh, he's here. All right, they've all got their own hay nets. So there should be no arguing about hay. I don't know what to do with these, so I just tied them to the hay nets. Do you want to put your bum in? Go. My bum in. Good boy. I've just got to show you what's in the back here. We've almost built up to the roof. Honestly, it's like a. I don't know what it's like but it's just crazy so so we have got everything apart from cloudy so we're gonna come back either later today or tomorrow to get him yeah everything's all done see you in a minute Rolo. See you in a couple right there we go that is it they're not forest oak but always anymore they're off the forest oak ground so I can't wait for this new adventure, guys, and I can't wait for you to join us. Let's get in the horse box and get going. Let's get you out. I might need to, because Pogo's gonna go crazy, isn't he? Yeah, you pass him to me. Don't worry, you're, kind of, you're gonna come out. So guys, you might start recognising this place. So this is actually Cloudy's old yard. So all the boys have been here before. They know it pretty well. They are like a family to us here. Oh, we don't like the we don't like the bailing twine on the floor. The Just mind out, mum. Because right. okay. Pokemon is very fresh. Popcorn, can you chill, please? Um, which ones are you going in? The big round one. Which? The left, the one on the left or the right? Okay. I'm going to leave the head collars on. Just so something happens, I can we can quickly whip him out. Oh yeah. Is he gonna go down again? He's got a lovely fluffy straw bed. Oh yep. Got huge stables. Oh, Pokemon's rolling. Pokemon's rolling, Mum. Oh, Rollo's having an itch. It's all going on. Rollo is literally walking around like it's a riding lesson. Ooh, have a little drink, no? Popcorn is, oh, oh, very low. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's the bum scratch. Oh, is he going down again? He's going down again. Oh, very low. And guys, I think they've made themselves at home. I think Pogon might go down again. 
It's very inviting, it's got a little gate now and you can actually see over it as well. So yeah, both the ponies can now see over their stable doors and Popcorn, that is like his pet peeve not being able to see over it. He's so nosy, he's such a nosy pony. Now you're gonna get to see all the yard gossip. Yes, all the ponies. Oh, look at Rolo. Hi, Rolo. Rolo's like, oh my gosh, is this a field or a stable? This is huge. They are very lucky pony gu ponies, guys. These are like the biggest stables I've ever seen in my life. They're gonna have such a nice time. But we've actually got some different bedding for popcorn. We've got some lovely Orbeos bedding that we're gonna put down in here. Um, are we gonna keep this in here? Yeah, we'll pop it on top. Yeah, we're going to pop it on top because this is a huge space to fill. So, yeah, I think what we might do is we'll scoop all of the shavings to that side and put an Orbeers on that side. Um, no, I think we just put it all on top. Do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. So, Popcorn has actually got a big dust allergy, so he can't go on straw. That's why he's not on straw like Rolo. If he didn't, he'd probably be on straw. But... Um, he cannot be on any type of straw, otherwise he gets really phlegmy, cough, like really coughy, and he, he coughs out mucus. Um, he's sneezing all the time, so that's why he's not on that. When we were at Forest Stokes, all of the horses were on shavings. Um, they'd buy the shavings for you because it was included in the package. But now that we are buying our own bedding, we are allowed to have whatever we want. Um, with Popcorn is a bit more restricted, he's a special boy. Um, but we're gonna have some lovely Orbeos bedding, which we've never had before, but I'm super excited. Before we change the shavings, Popcorn's gonna escape. Um, before we change the shavings, I am going to pop both of the boys out. So they're gonna have some nice leg stretch time. I mean, I'm sure Rolo's had a nice little trot around already in there. Um, and Popcorn's doing laps, he's lunging himself. Um, but yeah, we're gonna pop them in their turnout rugs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> He's like, come back, brother. How nice is this, guys? The brothers can finally see over their stable doors and they can, you know, sniff each other all day long. You know, they'll have a little family reunion here and then. And then if they've had enough of each other, they can just go to the end of their stables. So, yeah. Oh, Rolo's looking over his new stable door. He's like, oh my goodness, I can see. I can see out of it. I think they're gonna be super, super happy boys here. And I can't wait to get pony number three here. So let's go and get their turnout rugs. And then we'll pop them in their fields. <laughs> Rolo's also got a massive field now compared to his old one. So I think he's gonna really enjoy that. Oh my God, he's getting so excited already. And we've already got to walk through another field. <laughs> he's like, these fields are huge. Rolo, let's not be pulling off any shoes, darling. Please. Good boy, my trainers are gonna get filthy. I knew he was going to do that. Uh, Is that food open? Oh, no. no, it's not. He's like, this field is absolutely ginormous. This field is huge. Oh my God, that trot was like amazing, Malekro style. He's a dragon.
right, now it's time to, you know, build Pokemon's bed. We've got the lovely Orbeo's bedding here. There's roughly about five or six on each layer. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, about 41 over there because there's three on each stack. Anyways, we've got a lot of bedding, guys. This is gonna last absolute ages. So we're gonna get the smaller block down here. Ooh. Oh my God. Do we do need two? We need about 10. So my mum's told me that we're gonna need about 10 of these to sort Popcorn's massive bed out. This is going to be so hard to carry. I'm so excited, guys, to get a big fluffy bed for popcorn. We're going to have to do five trips. Two. And each trip is going to fall. It's going to fall down. It's got poo juice all over it. <laughs> right. We can do this. Not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna give this rubber a flat tire. Oh no! Oh no! No no! Oh my god! Okay, we're on a flat surface now. So we've just opened up our first bale, and honestly, this feels so nice. It's super, it's really weird to describe, but it's basically, it's just so hard to describe. It feels absolutely amazing though. It's so light and fluffy. It, it's gonna be so enjoyable for them to roll on because it, it just feels like nothing in your hands. It's so nice. It's super lightweight as well. I can't wait to just fill this whole stable up with this. This is gonna be the most satisfying, Un shaving unboxing ever because honestly I could play with this all day it's that enjoyable all right three two one oh this is so nice <laughs> let's get my shaving fork this is really nice because it's super easy to move and the thing with the shavings is when you unbot like unpackage them they're really hard to separate and they'll like come like chunk in big blocks, but this is super nice. This is so, oh my goodness, popcorn is gonna love this so much. One bag down, about 20 more to go.
so guys, we're now done and that took 13 bags of Orbeo's bedding. It is a lot, but it looks gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Popcorn's not fond of that rope thing hanging. Um, um, but he's gonna have to get used to that. I was thinking we could hang his toys from there or maybe like a lick it from there so he could lick it. We've got country vibes on this side, Rolo's uh, comfrey straw. Um, and then we've got modern vibes on this side that Dingo is kindly sharing with you. Um, Dingo. It does smell absolutely amazing though. I've got it all in my shoe. So guys, look at my hard work. That took nearly two hours. No, it didn't. It really felt like it did. We did leave this little kind of rectangle space for when they walk in, just because otherwise it's just gonna get a bit muddy. So that's left there. And yeah, I've spent quite a long time putting these down and it was kind of a team effort because mum went to go get them from the stack over there and then I was putting them down. But yeah, I'm so happy of how this turned out. I'm never switching back to either straw or normal shavings for popcorn. Um, obviously, Rolo's fine on the straw because he doesn't have dust allergy. But yeah, let's go get the boys in because it's starting to turn like noon kind of time because the moon's out. We're going to get the boys and we're going to get them ready for bed. And we still haven't unpacked the horse box yet. Honestly, there's so much that we need and want to do that we're going to have to do it in another vlog. I can't actually see popcorn. I'm a bit concerned. Popcorn, did you jump the fence into Rolo's field? Oh, no, he's there. I see his ears. All right, can you stay like that whilst I go and get Rolo? Thank you. Oh, you're coming. What on earth are you doing? Crazy pony. He's, he's like biting his lead rope. Ooh, don't turn it up, don't. Popcorn. <gasps> no. He turned it up. Oh, he's so cute. Rolo, you can't go in there with him. As big as his stable is, you can't go in. Did you sniff some? Oh, yep. Back to the rope. He's like, oh my God. In he comes. If he ever felt fresh in the night, he could just go for a little trot round. They're happy ponies. Right, let's put this outside. Now, before it turns dark, which is gonna be in about five minutes, we need to unload all of the stuff. I think it's just gonna be the case of unload, drop and go, um, because it's getting very late now. So we're just gonna have to unpack it another day so I can come up on Saturday or Sunday and we can do it then because otherwise, it's just gonna be absolute manic tonight. Cause if we were to do it all tonight, then we just have like no sleeping time. We'd be here till 1 a.m. So we're gonna go and we um, Popcorn's really desensitized to this. Well, I don't really know. He, he, he just, he just knows what to think of it. He has actually been in this stable before because he came here at Christmas and he, he loves being the nosy one on the yard. He's got that massive door to look out of that he can just chill. And he's actually got a stable door that he can look over now. So he's gonna love that. Oh, scratchies, delicious. So when we went to France, we sent him here to do some hacking. And then when we brought him back, he was so, he's just a, such a different pony. Oh, Poco's like, don't bite my nose, please. He honestly had the time of his life. He absolutely loved it. And now I feel he's just gonna be so happy. Oh, Rolo's having a wee as well. 
Um, he's just going to be so happy here and I can't wait to get cloudy as well. We're going to have to do that tomorrow. Um, so yeah. We've got the last few jobs for today. We've got to give them their feeds, rug them up, dump, drop and go. So yeah. Popcorn's got his PJs on, now Rollo's getting his on. Because the ponies are in more of an open area, there's a big window, we're, put, ru we're rugging them up nice and warm. They've both got a <laughs> Rolo. He's literally trying to nibble my mum's arm off right now. So we are wrapping them up a bit warmer now. They've all got necks on, which we wouldn't normally put on. And Sorry, really, stop wiggling. And they also have a, they have some sort of thinner rug underneath their bigger rug. So rollo has got a rug liner on and then Popcorn's got a fleece on. So the boys are nice and toasty. So Forest Oaks was a lot more enclosed and there wasn't as much breeze. But now that there's a massive window there, we are having to rug them up a bit better now. Yes, stop licking mummy's arm. You've made her drenched just from your slobber. Rolo also came here at Christmas and he also came here when we bought him. So he's very familiar with the place, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, you're a good boy. Right, have you made the feeds? Are they just outside? They're just outside, yeah. Right, let's go get the feeds. Oh yeah, it is pitch black, by the way. Um, it was probably a light. Um, a couple clips ago, but now it's pitch black. Oh, ding -dings. There you go. Come on. Come on. Where's that leg? Oh, there it is. That's how you know Rolo is enjoying his feed. He's literally dancing. One up, down, like, honestly. I don't think he knows he's doing it, but Pokemon's nice and quiet over there. Not trying to destroy his feed bucket. I've tied his little toys up to this, so hopefully he plays with them. But yeah, we're going to have to do a part two because honestly, we just literally dumped everything in the tack room, apart from the saddles and the bridles, which we actually hung up. The boys seem to be really enjoying it. They've both settled in really, really well. They're nice and quiet. I'm sure Rolo, when he gets bored, is just going to be doing laps. I'm, I'm sure he might be cantering at one point. Um, and same for Popcorn. I mean, he's a bit more sensible, but I still feel like if he's a bit, you know, stiff, he can go for a little wander around. This year, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be competing and doing races with the Cloudy, show jumping and dressage with Popcorn, and lots of showing with Rolo. Um, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing and they're going to be able to have so much fun and go zoomies and I think that's like Popcorn's dream life, the zoomies. That's exactly why we've moved these ponies and they're just going to have the time of their life. Cloudy's going to love having all the other Shetlands here and yeah, he's, he, Cloudy's going to be in his element, he's going to be in Shetland Wonderland, Popcorn is going to be in his zoomies Wonderland and Rolo's just going to be chill. He's so adaptive, I want to say, to any of his environments. Rolo will just, he will be. I feel like in the night, Popcorn's going to end up bashing into this and then not know what it is. Or he's going to walk underneath it and then start bronking because it touched his bum. Thank you so much guys for watching and stay tuned for part two because you do not want to miss my tack room. You're not going to be able to believe it. Mum has worked so, so hard building everything with granddad and just organising it all. So it's not completely done, but hopefully it will be very soon. I think you guys are going to love it. Yeah, we need, we've bought loads of labels because I have a croaker and me and mum spent literally an hour printing off labels the other day. And yeah, we've got some lovely labels that we're going to put onto the drawers and we're going to name the bridle hooks and saddles and oh, I don't want to get into it too much, but yeah, we're going to stay tuned. I'm not going to say anything else, otherwise I'm going to give the whole vlog away and just tell you guys what's happening. 
happening. So, so the next vlog that's coming up is a tack room organizing vlog. It's gonna be exactly how we want it. It's a full on tack room. We couldn't possibly fit it all in today's vlog. Otherwise it might have been like three hours long. Um, so we're gonna have to do a part two. I know a lot of people don't like part twos because you've got to wait for the second part to come out. So we'll try and get that out as quick as we can, but we haven't even filmed it yet, guys, So because we're gonna go home now. It's literally seven o'clock now, guys, we're, and we're still at the yard. So we've got to go home in a, literally a couple seconds because I just can't. We've, we've got to go swap our horse box over still. So this is crazy, um, absolutely mental. We've got to get cloudy as well tomorrow. Um, it's just all absolute manic. So I will hopefully get a nice peaceful sleep now and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. La, da, da, la, la, da, da. Turn it upside down Now I'm feeling like La, 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 la. 